Beep. Hello, operator. Call me an expert. Previously, on the Neo Improbables. <gasps> We dressed up in crappy costumes and we added some smart TVs together. And then after the video was published, we decided to watch some of our old videos and then I died. And then when Evil Self came back and Chris got attacked at 20 against the wall and now he's calling an expert to save me. Please help me get out of here! Hello, I am Dr. Schnabel Frogenheimer. Today we are going to be doing the science. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Trust me, I am the doctor. But I'm also the scientist. I am the scientist doctor. So tell me, what do you know of the multiverse theory? Not much. Ugh, oh, sweet pretzel in my schnitzel. This man is impossible. Quite a dumb cough. Multiverse theory is a theory where any distinct possibility, no matter how illogical, anything that has been created, anything that has been postulated, every left wing choice, every right wing choice, everything ever drawn, composed, or created in any way, could exist in its very own universe. Makes more sense now that you've explained it that way. But how does this information help me? You know the popular cartoon show, uh, how you say, My Little Pony? Yes. The land of Equestria could be quite real in its own universe. Ooh! Because that's not why we're doing this today. See, as things can be fictional in one universe but real in the other, the vice versa could also be applied. Like, uh, take this cake cat that came in here today, I can still smell him. It smells like a Vlad to me. So let's call him Vlad. Um, wait. He went on talking about the Yugi monster. What can you remember about the Yugi monster? Everything. We started out the episode, or the series, by reviewing Yu-Gi-Oh! based YouTube poops. Then he appeared, I challenged him to a duel, and kicked his ass. That is what you remember, but that is incorrect. What do you mean? Like, that stuff I s those things I said about things fictional in this universe could be real in another. The vice versa can also be true. Like, what is real to us could actually be a series of well planned events and well acted in extraordinarily well written pieces in some videos on a YouTube channel in another universe. But according to said YouTube channel, the events you described do not really happen. Like, all I see on this YouTube channel is Ampage looking very lonely and sad, reacting to Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube poops and doing deck reviews. He was no doubt by the Vlad who planned to take over the world. There was a piece missing. A piece where you were planned to make an appearance. But since in another universe you cannot make it on the day of shooting the video, it did not happen. So, using these facts and postulations, now I must have managed to appeal to the foundation of time and restore his life in this universe. Oh. <laughs> Ah, indeed. And what exactly am I supposed to do about it? We must send you back in time to the date of August 2017. You are going to announce the events of the part 3 that, that you hold so dear, as you're, and, we, and, to, and you can set history right. Uh, how do you mean travel back in time? You know the website, The Wayback Machine? It can travel through time in websites to previous forms of them from other months and years. Interesting, but how does this help me? We can use the capacitors within this very flash stick to generate 1.21 gigawatts of energy and combined with the Wayback Machine, we can actually travel through time. Oh, what are we waiting for then? Let's go! On the count of three! Five! Ta -da. Ah, yes! I can almost taste the death of his career already. Hmm, I might as well start recording while I'm waiting for my charge. Curses! It's Cactus Chris! He'll ruin everything! <clears throat> 
Just a minute. Come in. Hey Michael, you ready to film another awesome episode of the Neo Show? I thought you weren't showing up for Yuki Months. I thought you didn't like the game anymore. I may not collect the cards anymore, but I still enjoy certain aspects of the fandom. I still have Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro installed on my computer and uh, watch Yu-Gi-Oh! related YouTube videos. And you really don't think that the cynicism you harbor towards this card game could damage our channel's reputation in any way? Dude, it's just a YouTube video. If all else fails, we can always just join a bowling league or something. Alright, fine. Um, uh, might as well get you caught up. The previous video... No, no need. I'm already caught up. Wait, what? Um, uh, okay. Um, you sure you watched everything you need to see? Every second I get notifications, I am subscribed to your channel. Uh, okay. Uh, let's film something. Uh, what do you want to shoot first? First, I have a couple of questions for you. Oh, cool. I love quizzes, especially with other people. Question number one. Who is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character? As if you had to ask, Jin Yu-Gi. Okay. Question number two. Who is your most hated character from Yu-Gi-Oh? I hate that jerk Flip Turner, one with his face down cards and bull crap. Like, I should be the one doing that. Okay. <laughs> Last question. Shoot. Who is your favorite My Little Pony character? Um. Cupcake, Glitter, Sprinkle, Rainbow, Sparkle, Try. Yeah, good try. The jig's up, though. What? A cape? How'd that appear? I must be good at editing. Woo, so mad. Uh, woo! Yeah, you can end the facade. You're making yourself look ridiculous. <coughs> Whatever. At least I don't have to thrash me throw with that stupid, annoying voice anymore. Well, it doesn't matter what you know, because the time is right and all the pieces are set in place for me and my army of YouTubers to take over the world. There is nothing you can offer that I don't have. Is that so? Then you wouldn't be interested in these. You think you can overpower me with sparkly pieces of paper? <laughs> Quite pathetic. You sound very confident. Take me on in a duel and prove it. If you're up for a fight, come at me. I'm all yours.
Thank <laughs> you.